Hello friends, welcome once again. In this video, I will be sharing with you how to make soya kebab at home. And so to make this delicious recipe, all we need is soya beans. And so this is my soya beans that I've already cleaned behind the camera and soaked overnight. So I'll transfer into a strainer to drain the overnight water from it. So I'll rinse twice to make it clean and so that there'll be no odor found in it. And after draining the overnight water from the soya beans, I'll transfer it to a bowl, add some water for me to rinse them. Transfer it to a strainer to strain the water from it. Repeat this process twice. Then our soya beans is clean. Next, I'll be adding some water and begin to peel off the skin from the soya beans. And after peeling the skin from the soya beans, I'll be adding more water to it so that I'll be able to separate the skin from the soya beans. So I'll place a strainer in another bowl. Then drain the water into it. In this way, the skin separates from the soya beans. Next, I will in turn add the water to the soya beans once again. And repeat the same process until the soya beans becomes clean. And after peeling the skin from the soya beans, and here is the shaft from the soya beans, and also our soya beans, which is now clean. Please make sure to rinse once again with clean water before blending. So next I'll be adding some of it to my blender. Add some water and blend smoothly. And after blending and it becomes smooth, transfer it to a cheesecloth to squeeze out the milk. So I will add the blended soya beans to the cheesecloth. They begin to squeeze out the milk from it. So I will squeeze vigorously to get all the milk from the soya beans. And after squeezing it, this is the shaft we got from it. I'm going to be setting it aside, then repeat the same process for the remaining ones. And here is the shaft we got from the soya beans and also the milk from the soya beans. So I'll be transferring it into a cooking pot, take to the heat and begin to cook. And after cooking the soya milk for some time and it start boiling, I will be adding to it half cup of white vinegar, then stir together. And as you can see from the video, as I added the white vinegar to it and stir, the soya milk begins to curdle. So I'll be leaving it and allow it to boil for about 10 minutes. And after 10 minutes, turn off the heat, allow it to cool down before squeezing out the water from it. And once it has cooled down, transfer into a cheesecloth to squeeze out the water from it. And after transferring it into the cheesecloth, I'll bring this cheesecloth together and begin to squeeze out the water from it like this. So I'll tie the cheesecloth together, then squeeze out the water from it vigorously. Make sure to squeeze out the water from it as much as you can before placing a weight on it. And after squeezing out the water from it, I'll be placing a basket on a bowl. Then place it on the basket. And next I'll place a weight on it so that all the water can drain off from it completely. Then allow to rest for about six to eight hours. With this, our soya kebab becomes very firm. And after six hours, this is how it looks like. I'm going to be removing it from the cheesecloth. And as you can see, it has become solid. Next, we are going to be cutting them into cubes. So I'll transfer it to a chopping board. They begin to cut into cubes. First, I'll be cutting it into two equal parts. Then, further cut them into cubes. 
please if this is your first time of seeing my videos i want to say thank you so much for clicking to watch kindly click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that when i upload new videos you will be notified and to all my amazing returning viewers i want to say thank you so much for your great support i appreciate you god bless you and after cutting them into cubes i'll transfer into a bowl and after transferring them into a bowl, I'll marinate them with some seasoning cubes. And after marinating them with some seasoning cubes, I'll cover and set aside for about 20 minutes. And after 20 minutes, it's time for me to begin to fry them. So I'll be transferring them into a preheated oil and fry them until they become good in brown. Fry on a medium heat and stir at intervals so that both sides can be well fried. And after frying and it becomes good in brown, I'll be removing them from the oil. Then repeat the same process with the remaining ones. And after frying them, I'll set aside, then move to the next step of making a soya kebab. So I'll add little oil to my frying pan. Next, I'll be adding some tomato paste. Then fry for about two minutes. And after two minutes of frying it, I'll add to it some salt and seasoning cube. Then stir it together. And after frying the tomato paste for some time, I'll be adding to it some vegetables, the onions, green, red, and yellow bell pepper, then stir together. Allow to fry for about two minutes, and next I'll be adding to it the fried soya kebab, then mix together. After mixing it together, I'll also be adding to it some soya spice. And if you want to learn how to make soya spice, please check the video card above. Or you can check the description box for the video link. You can as well have access to it at the end screen of this video. After adding everything together, allow to simmer for about 3 minutes before turning off the heat. Next, I'll transfer into a bowl. And now we have our soya kebab ready with great aroma. As you can see, this looks so nice. And next, I will arrange the kebab and the vegetables in a skewa stick. As you can see from this video, this is so easy and simple to make at home and can also be used in replacement of the regular meat. And now that you have learned how to make this delicious recipe that tastes almost like chicken, I guess you'll be trying this out. Please let me know how it came out for you in my comment section. And if you find this very helpful, please kindly click on the like button and share with your loved ones. And now we have our soya kebab, which came out very beautiful and delicious. Thanks so much for spending your precious time with me. See you in my next video. God bless.